does this guy have any clue what the hell he's talking about, this Call of Shame guy? I'm going to show you that he doesn't. I'm going to show you that all these guys on YouTube, they're, they don't know how to play the game. They don't know. They're clueless. They have no idea like what it takes to be good at the game. And so they're calling out people that are just that are just way better than them. And they have no clue why, because they're clueless. And you guys are being a bunch of sheep following people like this guy who's filling your brain with nonsense, right? So I'm going to go and show you that they're actually good at the game. Look at all these guys, like this guy here, Bad Boy Beerman, knows nothing about anything, right? Like the, the few times they're right is because they're calling everyone a cheater that's good at the game. So of course they're going to be right sometimes. Some, some players are actually cheaters, but they're not right because they actually use their logic or actually use their brain and thought about what actually is happening. So we'll get to Naughty in a second. Let's go with z -Lanner. Is z -Lanner actually cheating? Well, look at this. Watch this gameplay. I'm going to point out something to you. Now, keep in mind, what we're watching here is z -Lanner playing. He flew out to Activision. He's playing on their equipment, right? So he's not cheating. This is z -Lanner playing the game for the first time, and he's playing on their equipment. Keep in mind, first time ever playing this game. Right, yeah, he knows that some people over here, that's why he keeps aiming. Look at that, boom, look at his aim, look at that, look at his aim. He's beaming on these dudes, right? So he probably heard these guys, because this game has some crazy good um, sound for hearing footprints from far away, or footsteps rather. So he, he probably hears them, so he knows they're coming, that's why he keeps aiming down. It's just kind of smart to do that anyway. But watch this again. Just watch his aim. He's His aim is just so on, so on point. Right, his aim's on point. Right, so you can't you can't claim that he doesn't know how to aim a gun. Right, he's using Activision's equipment, and he's still beaming. Right, on a game he hasn't played before. If we go back, I recommend watching this whole thing. Watch this. Look, look at his aim, how he tracks. Like, look at that. I couldn't even see that guy. I couldn't even see that guy. Right, people might be like, "Oh, look, he's cheating! How did he?" No, he has good eyesight. He can, like, you can definitely when you're playing the game too, you can see better than you can on YouTube. But like, sometimes I'm in fights like this and I can barely see people, but I know they're there. And when I get a hit confirmation, I keep look at that. Look at that tracking right there. Watch this. Look at this tracking. Boom. Like, like he has the movement down in the game so well that he he's predicting where the person's going and he's just he knows the speed to move his controller to track somebody so well like he's he's so good at that right Notice that he moved there and was shooting because he didn't want to get shot at the same time, but he's still tracking so well. But now keep in mind, he's playing against really good players too. Like most people that were called out to this event are all really good players. And he's getting a chopper gunner. We got nailed there. So his, his game of awareness is, is so good as well. And just look at that. It just beams right on the dude. Beams on that guy. Anyone that thinks that Z-Lander's not good at this game, like you're tripping. He hears him. Hear him? Boom. Watch his tracking, like how good he is at, at snapping onto people. It amazes me that people can play the controller this good. I can't even play this good on my, on my mouse controller. Although my wife is really good at 
controller and she can barely plays she can barely play with that mouse and keyboard so and keep in mind this was live he knows that guy's in there that gun has a lot of recoil though He must not have saw that guy. He heard that guy. I heard him, so he had to hear him. And notice that he just looked over. See how far he looks over when he's looking over? Right, keep in mind this is he's not cheating here. We know he's not cheating here because he's at a live event at, at Activision. And see how he looks over like that? So this is they're accusing him of cheating because he's looking over. He does it throughout this entire live event. Okay, so another person that has been accused of cheating lately, and I don't know if she's cheating or not, but one thing I do know is that she's good at the game. Because when she played live, so when Nadia played live at the same event. The only gameplay you're seeing from all these these brain dead people, all these people just trying to make make some money, and I don't even care if this video gets like no views. I mean, these not, these guys aren't going to respond to the video anyway. I'm not even expecting that. I only make this this channel for like like just to record some high scores and stuff for my own personal thing, and I did some stuff with coding. Anyway, so her first game was bad. Right? But that's because she just got there. She didn't warm up. She hadn't played the game yet. She was getting used to the controller. She was getting used to the new setup. She Her, her FOV was messed up. She had to change that, which she does later. But she explains all this herself anyway. So watch her actual video. Before, like, like don't be a bunch of just sheep and just watch these these dumb, dumb, like this bad boy beerman. Don't, like, think for yourself. And look at both sides of a situation before you make up your mind. Like, just use your brain. Use some common sense and use some logic. But after she started to get the feel of the game, she was at the top of the leaderboard, right? In the new uh, search and destroy kind of mode where you can, uh, I figure what it's called now, you pick the you can pick the people up and you have to, like, get the hostages or whatever and take them, pick them up and take them over. I think that's the mode she was playing. Anyway, she was beaming in that mode. And that was, uh, she went, like, that 10 kills the top at the top of her leaderboard. Now let's go look at that really fast. All right, so let's watch uh, some of this gameplay here. This was when she was at the event live. This is the gameplay they don't show you, right? They just want to show that first game where she didn't do well. Oh, my. What's going, what's going on? I don't know. I'm like sliding. All right, here we go. Into. What is that? What did I just throw? So she's, she's used to slide canceling everywhere. Volume time. I'm gonna beam that guy. He's not dead yet. Look at that tracking from that guy. What do you guys think of the look of the game? Mm. The package was dropped. Hmm. Let's go! Let's go! Wait, low key, I was kind of popping off there though. Like, what happened? Wait, what happened? Okay. All right, now watch her reaction time right here. Oh shit! And tracks. Wait, I forgot you can res. Dead. Let's go! Let's. All right, so watch how she snaps on these guys. When she just shoots one and the snaps on the other. They don't know, they don't know. They don't know. She ran out of ammo. Had she not ran out of ammo, I think she would have had that. So notice how she snaps on. She shoots the first guy. So watch how she snaps on this guy. Damn. So she kind of over snapped a little bit because I think she was going to go for this guy first, but then, then saw this guy would be easier to take out first. 
And so she snaps back. But notice how, how good she snaps to that guy from killing one guy to the other guy. And so that's legit snapping. And she's just good at the game. I mean, she's clearly good at the game. Just watch all this gameplay. You'll see that she's good at the game. And here's her end game stats here for this game, which was a uh, domination, I believe. So she went 29 kills. And so she's right up there with her other players. 29, 32, and 32. More kills than everyone on this team down here. So these guys, right? All these dudes, like Call of Shame and that bearded beer man, whatever the dude's name is. The reason why these guys, like, they don't show this gameplay is because it doesn't fit their narrative, right? They are clearly just trying to chase popular people on YouTube making up a bunch of bullshit claims. I think oftentimes they know they're making up bullshit claims. Like, I think they know they're full of shit, but they, they need views. They need to try to make their, their YouTube money, right? And so they're they're doing anything they can, and it doesn't fit their narrative. So yeah, of course they're not going to show all the games where Nadia kicked ass, where she was at the top of the leaderboards. Right? They're not going to show that because that doesn't fit their narrative. Like, they, oh, then she might not seem like she's cheating. Like, like she's legit good at the game. So come up with better shit, right? Like there are real cheaters out there. Go find the real cheaters. Learn how to actually spot cheating and go find the real cheaters. But they're not going to do that. Want to know why they're not going to do that? Because they don't care about that. All they care about is making money. It's so clear. It's so just mind numbingly obvious. These guys don't care. They just care about their YouTube money and nothing else. And, and it's, it's sad because so many people watch it and keep feeding them money. And then you guys believe it because I don't know why, because you're not thinking for yourselves. So anyway, just try watching both sides of the thing first. Like Swag, for example, dude is good at the game. Like just watch him play the game when he's anytime he's at any sort of LAN event or playing against other really good players. He is really good at the game. His movement's good. Like everything's good. And, and no one can look at Nadia's gameplay and say that her movement's not good. Like she's good. Her movement is crazy good. z is on a whole other level, though. z is on a whole other level. Like, his game sense, his game intelligence level is way up there. He's just, he, not only is he good at the game in sense of, um, you know, his movement and his aim, right? All that's great. He beams like crazy. But what makes him so, so good at the game, above and beyond most other good players, is just how intelligent he is at the game. I think very few people would be able to uh, to beat Zealander, and uh, uh, if he had enough time to like get a feel for them in, in like one v one or something. But um, yeah, anyway, so that's it. That's my ramble. Is uh, these guys don't know what they're talking about? They're just chasing money. That's all they're doing. They're they're trying to make money off other people that are already making money. Right? They're just name dropping in order to try to get some views and make money. And I'm not doing that. You can just look at my channel and see that I don't do that because I don't care about the channel. Like I said, it's mostly for my personal thing. I don't get that many views on a lot of my stuff, and I'm not trying to get a bunch of views. But this was just irritating me, like seeing this kind of stuff constantly and like and just seeing how good Zlander is, like watching his, him actually play in places where I know he can't be cheating. And just seeing how good he is at the game and like and then just seeing how brain dead, brain dead some of the accusations are. It's like, dude, come on! Like you can tell he's not cheating. Like you can see that he that he sees the guy on his on his radar, and then and then it went away. He knows the guy's still there. Like he knows the guy's in the tent. And uh, anyway, so it's just um, it's retarded. It's super retarded. And I just like I need to make a video about this because people are retarded. But anyway, that's it. All right.